Conventional dog collars offer you little control, and they can seriously damage your dog's neck and throat. The Rabbit Goo No-Pull Dog Harness provides the control you want, plus the comfort and safety your pet deserves. First, unbuckle the chest strap and loosen the neck strap. Keeping the side with a handle facing up, gently slip your dog's head through the opening. Tighten the neck strap, leaving a width of two fingers to avoid choking. Finally, buckle and adjust the chest strap. Again, leaving a width of two fingers to keep the harness loose and comfortable. The Rabbit Goo No-Pull Dog Harness is available in five sizes and three colors, all featuring reflective stitching for nighttime visibility. And it works great with the Rabbit Goo Heavy Duty Leash. The Rabbit Goo No-Pull Dog Harness is not chew-proof. At times when the harness is not in use, please don't leave it where your dog could reach and possibly destroy it. Next, fit the shoulder strap. Unsnap the belly strap quick snap. Place the shoulder strap over the dog's head with the chest strap resting on the dog's chest. You can encourage your dog to put his head through the harness by offering a treat. Adjust the length of the belly strap so that the harness is snug around the dog's girth when you connect the quick snap. Once the shoulder and belly straps are connected and adjusted, they should resemble a vertical line as much as possible and should not be in the sensitive armpit area. And have a snug fit so that you can fit only one to two fingers between the strap and the dog's body. A snug fit's important because the shoulder and belly straps combined create the foundation that keeps the harness in place and keeps it from rotating on the dog. Rotation around the dog can cause uncomfortable rubbing and chafing. The chest strap should fit horizontally and not droop down or too easily right up close to the dog's neck. It'll be much easier to make this adjustment if you remove the harness from your dog. The chest strap has two adjustment points. You'll want to adjust the sides evenly so the martingale remains in the center. For example, if you estimated you needed to adjust the chest strap by one inch, you'll adjust each slide on the strap by a half an inch. When you're ready to take a walk, you'll attach the leash to the D-ring on the chest strap. When fit properly, the harness should resemble a sideways T as much as possible. The girth straps create a vertical line and chest straps lay on the chest horizontally. 